Why? Why is that so funny? Your little face is there impressed with yourself, but... I'm not impressed with myself. I'll be impressed when it's, this one's done, but we'll see if it's any good. We're just about to catch a taxi into Funchal and um, the weather was really nice this morning. It's clouded over a little bit now but it's still boiling. We're going to go on the sledges because uh, my mum really wants to do that and so does Matt to be honest. He's like a big kid. And we're going to go up the gondolas up the Wobble mountain. Wobble dub dub! <laughs> <coughs> still got a cough. But yeah, should be a cool day. It's for you there. What are we doing Ronald? We're off to go on the cable cars up the mountain and then getting the uh, sledges back down. you find your gondola experience? It was very good, but it was a little bit scary when you go over the vibrations. Matthew? It was good. It was nice. Not, not as high as I wanted to go. Not as fast either. But and now we're off to find some sledges. Yeah. The toboggan sledges first originated in the early 19th century when they were used as first means of downhill transport. The local residents used them to travel quickly from the village of Monte to the city of Funchal. Your view on the toboggan in? They were alright, that. It was a good ride down. Now we could do we going all the way to the bottom. Now, now we've somehow got to get to the bottom the rest of the way. But it was alright. Mum? It's a good thing to do, just to say you've done it. You know what I mean? Why are you bringing me to It's nice to put the toboggan in as well. Yeah. Back down the hill, back to the uh, centre. We're just about to go for a swim because it's boiling hot and my parents have got another day with us and they go home on Friday. So we're going to go to the resort and um, there's a natural pool where the fish eat your feet and there's, we're going to get some snorkelling done. Matthew's just sorting out his little booties and there's my mum. <coughs> so it should be <coughs> a good day. We're all back from swimming and Matthew's tired like a sleepy baby. Unhappy face. Come on, we're going wine tasting. 
in a minute. Dad's also exhausted from doing nothing today. He's asleep too. There's only mum that's awake who's up here. And she's ready for wine tasting. There we go. Yes, we're ready. Oh, Matthew wants to get rid of his decimated can. We've been to the wine tasting, Matthew's got us two yeah. bottles. So we've got uh, Madeira wine, which is a five, we only went for the five year, you could get ten, but we're not uh, connoisseurs, so it wasn't really worth the extra, I think it was 12 euros, so we went for this one. It was 15.50, and then 30% off on the wine tasting night, so uh, if you do come to this marina, uh, which is, I can never pronounce it, Queen, Queen Ted the Lord. Quinta de Lord. Uh, they've got a little shop, they wine tasting every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So you go there, you get 30% off as well. So we got medium sweet, because Paige likes sweet and I like the medium dry. So we, we uh, went in between and we got some of this stuff, which is uh, rum, rum cobble, which is rum mixed with honey. And it says on the back to have it with cream. It's a little, uh, little drink. Uh, we got some of that, that was quite nice as well, we, we got to taste that. We've just got back from our wine tasting mm. and drinks and uh, we bought, you well, saw that we bought our rum and some Madeira wine and now Matthew's making us dinner in a pineapple because he thinks he's Gordon Ramsay or something so here's Matthew. I'm Gordon Ramsay or something. There you go. Oops. Shows your pineapples. Back there. <laughs> go away. Matthew's made our dinner in a pineapple. We'll have a look at it. Mm. So we've got rice, Ooh. egg, prawns, Ooh. vegetables. Dad? Awesome. Lovely. Mum, you try some. Mm. Lovely. Matthew? I've uh, not done the rice right. No. But it'll do. The next morning it was time to say goodbye to the Grogans. So today we're going diving. My cold has actually cleared up, so it's like my body said that we wanted to go diving today. So we're gonna go head over there. It starts at half nine. Matthew's got his, is it Bezac? Yeah, me Matthew's Bezac. got a be his Bezac, but he's just, so he's just going on a refresher course. And I'm doing my open water paddy, so can't so, wait for that. I'm a Bezac sports diver, so I'm qualified to 35 meters, though I've not dived since I was 15 years old. So. Uh, <laughs> bit out of date. So it's going to be a cool day. we got three, four days of this, so it'll be awesome. The Azul Dive Centre is located right next to Quinta de Lorde Pontoons, making it perfect for us to get to. They offer a range of dive courses and also kayak tours. Alright, three pieces mainly. A tank, scuba tank. Um, in America you may call it cylinder. Alright, uh, inside here, air. Just air. Okay, can you hear the, um, the noise? Um, it's the same system they use to produce dark Vader uh, breathing <laughs> <laughs> the back of the sound is exactly the regular After a morning pool session, it was time for our first real dive. Since I left just at the test of time like a leader Got to forward, I will always linger. You went away to feel the wind get a better. The work that I was on the verge looking back. We had all the reasons to split, and we made it final when it's too forever. The decay was double the fall, went from nothing to less. When
So how did your first day of diving go, Paige? It was epic. We started off in the classroom with some theory and uh, the bit that panics me is the equalising. I've still got a little bit of a cold so I had this nasal spray and I was, I was really panicking. We were standing on the side and my heart was racing and uh, we went down and I equalised fine and it was the best experience that I've had. Uh, Matthew joined us and it was just awesome. I can't wait to carry on this week so I've got another three days of it and uh, I can't wait to continue doing it whenever we can so yes I'm really looking forward to that and that's going to do some filming tomorrow hopefully. The next morning we went straight into the sea to practice more of what we had been learning in the pool. Unfortunately the visibility was very poor. Whispering soft to learn signs Wrapping you around my finger Gently touch, full of spell Blinding you into another Sneaking around, hunt and pray To find me another lover Behind closed doors, an empty space We're in a secret love encounter I'm a lonely heart, heart feeling Take what's mine, then I leave behind I'm a lonely heart, heart feline I take what's mine, then I leave behind favourite so far. We had perfect visibility and got to go through an underwater arch to test our buoyancy control.
was my last day of my uh, SSI open water diving course and I passed. So we had a really epic dive this morning. Uh, the water was really clear. We saw a little octopus trying to steal the instructor's torch. So that's with Azul Diving Centre. I'm going to put the link in the uh, description below because they are really cool and uh, we're here in the Madeiras. I don't know if there's that many places that do it, but it's really awesome. And Matthew's uh, decided to get creative and he's doing something over here. So let's go take a look. What are you up to? Building. What? It's a mozzie net. Why, why is that so funny? Your little face is very impressed with yourself, but... I'm not impressed with myself. I'll be impressed when it's, this one's done, but we'll see if it's any good. Okay. When I've uh, completed my construction. So what have you done? Like, wrapped elastic... Yep. ...around... ...now you sew in. It looks like a cheap bridal veil or something. What do you mean? Oi! Don't mock my work. Well, we'll take a look and see what Matthew... Uh, Constructs. Constructs. Oh, he's already done these, so now we have glasses hung up. But he's moaning because mine don't fit properly. But he's done them. And he's got his little list of to-do up here next to Popeye. So let's see how his curtains turn out. Go away. So here we have Matthew's mozzie masterpiece. Can't really see it because it just looks like net to us from here, but... Whoops. Oh, Matthew's broke it. So how does it work, Ronald? Well, I've put elastic in it and it bungees over. Now it does look a bit of a state. You've made one for our window as well? Yeah. Now I need to make one more for the uh, four-peat. Very happy with his... Uh... Now I might leave the four-peat one because I've got bored of sewing. Not really my thing. But it works. Join us next time as we leave the Madeira Islands and head to Lanzarote. I'm extremely disappointed and we suffer an expensive break. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you liked that. If you did then please give us a thumbs up and if you want to keep up to date with us then please subscribe. We've also now just got our own little Living With The Tide shop so we'll put a link below and we're selling all little Living With The Tide goodies, hats, shirts and all little bits and pieces so go check that out. And if you want to support us a bit more then we now do have a Patreon so we'll put the link in the description if you want to pop on there for as little as one dollar a month you can have our videos a week early and some other goodies as well. Thanks guys, hope to see you again next week. Bye bye.